12th December 1999, investigative journalist Robert Hoke and his wife went out to celebrate his birthday. On their way back home, something happened. It has changed their life forever. Robert woke up in a dark room. The only sign telling him he was still alive was a terrible headache. <sighs> oh, my head. Rain. I think I had an accident. Today is your birthday. We have to go out. What is this place? I've been chained to some pipe. I can only look at something from afar. free myself some I, I have to free myself somehow I can only look at some I have to free my code for the chain hmm I have to free myself somehow I can only look at something from far away I have to free myself somehow I can only look at something from far away code for the chain hmm Hmm. Incorrect code? Code for the chain. Hmm. for the chain. Hmm. Hmm. Incorrect code? for the chain. Hmm. The chest has a lock. You need... This is a picture of my wife, Sarah. Where is this phone? Someone's coming. Luckily. Sarah, please, can you help us? We've had an accident. What are you doing? Robert, help! Leave me alone! Ah! My dictaphone turned itself on during the accident? Sarah said, Sir, who was this person? What has he done to her? Why didn't he help us? Maybe it was illusion. This is my article. I wrote it six months ago.
This is my article. I wrote it six months ago. But some of it is damp. I'm not sure it will ignite. It's used to distribute wax. I always take care of it. You can tell a real man by the way he takes care of his car. Where did my things come from? Who placed them here and why? I need a pin number. Kill her? Did you? What's that supposed to mean? Sarah! If I... Just because you can't see something, it does... The chest has a lock. You need a key. Okay, it's opened. It may be useful. Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. What's this inscription? Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. What's this in- Just because you can't see- Just because you can't see something, it's much better. Looks- looks broken. Looks broken. Did you kill her? Did you? What's that supposed to mean? Electronic lock. On this keypad, I can enter a code. Then I should be able to open the door. need a PIN number. Phone unlocked. I need to call 1-3. 
112 for help. I received a new text message. Damn it, it's breaking up. The reception is... There must be another reason. Maybe I'll try again later. God damn it, it's breaking up. The reception is... There must be another reason. Maybe I'll try again later. God damn it, it's breaking up. The reception is... There must be another reason. Maybe I'll try again later. It's from Patrick Clark. Electronic lock. On this keypad, I can... Great. I will now be able to leave the room. Hello? Play with me. Who is this? What the... The chest has a keypad. You need a code. set fire to it. Brazier. I could set fire to it. This brazier could actually warm me up. <laughs> Nearly okay. chest has a lock. You need a key. To be honest, I thought we would spend this evening together. At the end of the day, today's your birthday. I'll just check on Patrick for a moment. During last year, you have spent more time with this detective of yours than you have ever spent with me. Sarah, please. 
I've been writing about Illusion for three years. If Patrick's telling me he found the only person who ran away from him, then I have to speak to him. You never have time for me. You know what? I'm getting sick of it. I'll be back as soon as I can. Maybe you could wait for me and be late for work tomorrow, okay? I can't. Tomorrow they will announce the Nicholas Webb judgment, and there is a great chance this little shit will be sentenced. Patrick said it's important that we're one step away from solving the mystery of illusion. chest has a keypad. You need a code. A candle is burning already. has a keypad. You need a code. Ooh. Incorrect code? Has a keypad. You need a code. Okay, it's opened. There is only some note in here.
incorrect code? Thank you.